Uh, hi. Uh, in this video, we will review the procedure of creating the new products in Microsoft Dynamics X 2012. Product may be shared across the multiple legal entities or companies within the organization. For example, like uh, a company may have uh, three subsidiaries like USA, India and Europe and the same product is sold or purchased within these legal entities. Or there may be a case that product is only used in a specific company. For example, few products are only sold or purchased in India. RS Bicycle Trading Company has two subsidiaries, one in USA and one in Europe. They are selling the bicycles in US and Europe region. There are few bicycles which are popular in USA as well as in Europe. When product is used across the multiple legal entities, we may create the product definition first and then we may reuse it across the multiple legal entities. There are three simple steps to achieve this. Create, Release and Setup First create the common product definition. Product definition may include the product type, product subtype and product code. Let us review the product demonstration for the same. To create the common product definition, go to product information management, all products and product master. Then click on new product. First of all, select the product type, item or service. Product type of service does not have physical inventory, for example, consulting services. Whereas for bicycle, we maintain the physical inventory, so it has to be of item type. Then next, select the product subtype. We have two options, product or product master. When product is sold into multiple sizes or colors or maybe different styles, then we may use product master. We will review this in later section of this video. First, let's try with the product subtype of product. Then give a unique product code. So let's type bicycle 001. Then secret. Okay. This will create the common product definitions for the product. We can see the definition have been created. Then next step is to release. Once the product definition is created, we may want to release it to the multiple legal entities where it will be purchased or sold. Let us review the product demonstration for the same. Uh, in order to release this product to a multiple legal entities, select the product and then go to click on release product from action menu. This is the product which we are going to release and then select the legal entities. So we will release it to the Europe as well as USA subsidiaries and then click OK. We can review the information here. We are going to release one product in two legal entities. System would inform the user if there is any failure on releasing the product. Click OK and the product has been released. We can quickly check by logging into a this is a Europe company. We can also check it into a USA company. Click on USA company. Then go to release product. We can see the bicycle have been released to this company. When you want to see release product, you may use the release product. And when you want to see all common definitions, you may use all products and product masters. So this is how we release a product into a multiple legal entities. And the third and last step is to set up a company specific details for a release product. For example, pricing. There may be different prices in Europe and USA. And there can be other things like default order settings and other things. Let us review the product demonstration for the same. Uh, then third step is to set up a company specific details for the product. So we are in currently in a CEE that is a Europe based company. So we go to release product to look at all the release products for this company and we may search for the bicycle. Yeah, double click this. Now here we can set, set up the different elements of a product. So let's say we can set up a company specific price. Expand the cell faster 
and here we can specify the euro specific sales price so let's say we are selling a bicycle at 100 euro in Europe so this is how we set up the company specific uh, details there is already a separate video where we have explained the detail setup kindly refer to that video for more detail uh, bicycle is sold in a uh, different different sizes and different different colors and there are few configurations or variants are popular in USA and few are in Europe let's say small size and blue color medium size blue color medium size yellow color and large size with orange color are popular in USA and small size with yellow medium with orange large blue and large yellow are popular in Europe when product is sold in a multiple variants we may use the product subtype of product master let us look at the product demonstration about how can we release the product subtype of product master steps remain same first we need to create the product definition then we need to release it to the multiple legal entities and then set up the company specific details uh, go to product information management then all products and product masters create a new product select the product type as item and product subtype as product master since bicycle is sold in different different sizes and different different colors and we may use uh, any specific configuration so give a product number so let's give a new product number bicycle 002 when product subtype is of product master we also need to select the product dimension group so we will select the appropriate dimension group please refer to the video on uh, product dimension group for the more detail but for now we will select the dimension group which is having color size and configuration enabled for a moment we will use the configuration technology as predefined variant when we have a limited set of variants for example we have a limited set of sizes and color for bicycle we should use predefined variant and then click ok then we need to define the product dimensions we click on product dimension so here we first define the sizes let's say bicycle is sold in a three different sizes small medium and large and in three different colors blue yellow and orange and configuration let's say we have only one configuration c1 configuration can be the combination of size and color close this form and then we can see all the product variants here we can use the variant suggestion here so we have a uh, nine configurations each with different colors and size so we select the all configurations and let's say create so these are all the configuration which we'll be using in our business business process so now so we have created a product definitions with all the product variants now we can release few configurations to USA and few configurations to European subsidiary based on their popularity so we have created a product definitions for a bicycle with all the possible variants being sold or purchased in different legal entities now in order to release the product and its product variants go to release product form and here select the variants we want to release it to a Europe subsidiary so we will only release a small and yellow then a large blue and large yellow so and medium and orange so these four variants we are going to release in European subsidiary because these are the popular in Europe. Then go to select companies to select the legal entities and click on select. So this is a European subsidiary and then click on OK. So we are going to release four variants, one product definition and then one to one company. Click OK. This has been released. In order to release popular configurations in USA, again go to release product form select the USS, USS specific configuration so that is a small blue medium yellow and blue and large orange so these are the these four configurations are very popular in USA then go to select companies and click on USA subsidiaries and then click on OK click OK if there is any error it would have been intimated by system but 
uh, that means no errors so product have been released successfully we can go to a release product form in europe sub european subsidiary first so we go to product information management to cross verify that the specific variants have been released so click on bicycle this is the product which we have released just now click on release product variants and here we only see the popular configurations which we released for european subsidiaries only and let's change the company to usa again come to a release product form this is the bicycle 02 and click on release product variants here we only see the usa specific variants so only specific variants have been released to us and europe subsidiary so in this video we re we reviewed the procedure of releasing the product with product subtype of product master so when product is sold in a different different sizes and colors then this is the procedure we may need to follow so few variants maybe we want to release it to a specific legal entity and few variants to a, another legal entity uh, however the setting up the company specific details remain the same as explained earlier alternatively user can create the product for a specific company for example few bicycles are only popular in europe hence they only need to be set up and created for a european subsidiary let us review the product demonstration for the same make sure that you are in cee company that is a european subsidiary and in order to create a product specific to european subsidiary go to product information management and here you will access release product forms directly if you want to create a product common across the multiple legal entities then you will be using all products and product master but in this case we will use release product because we want to create a product specific to european subsidiary click on release product and then click on new product select the product type item or service in this case we will select item because it's a bicycle and we will maintain the physical inventory for the same select the product or product master as explained earlier we will select product for now give a unique product code and you may choose a template if you want to create a product using specific template when we create a product definition across the multiple legal entities we do not see the show more fields fast group so if we expand this here we can specify the company specific details like item model group item group storage dimension group taking dimension group and unit of measurements this is only available when we create a product specific to a company so here we can fill in the other details storage dimension group and tracking dimension group and here you can give a unit of measurement for inventory unit purchase unit sales unit this details we will review in a different uh, video series but for now you may fill in and click on ok the product is created you may validate it for uh, missing information and system would intimate if there is any information is missing so it has been created successfully this is how we create a product for a specific legal entity thank you